Two developing bits of breaking news I want to bring you regarding the war in Ukraine. Firstly, this from the Reuters news agency talking about Hungary. It says Hungary will not send weapons or troops to Ukraine. Uh, the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said this uh, on Tuesday in Prague after meeting his Czech, Polish, Slovak counterpart. So Hungary will not send weapons or troops to Ukraine. This in the last few moments, in the last few hours, we've heard from several European leaders saying that they won't send troops to Ukraine. Uh, take a look at these pictures. Specifically, we heard from German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who told um, NATO, who told journalists here that NATO countries shouldn't send troops to Ukraine. Why European leaders are coming out and saying this is because Emmanuel Macron had suggested the idea, Macron uh, of France, of course. So two developments uh, to do with the war in Ukraine. And a little earlier, I spoke to our Europe correspondent, Jess Parker. This was all sparked after yesterday. Emmanuel Macron hosted a meeting of around 20 EU leaders in Paris, where they were talking about support um, for Ukraine. Uh, and then he made some remarks that I think have raised some eyebrows in the West and frankly raised alarm here in Germany. His comments have been running very high in the news and have clearly been rebuffed by the Chancellor Olaf Scholz. What Emmanuel Macron said, and we'll hear from him in a moment, is he essentially wouldn't rule out the possibility of the West sending troops uh, to Ukraine, which many, of course, fear could uh, severely escalate uh, the war and the conflict. And that's something that Moscow has warned about today. But let's have a listen to what the French president, Emmanuel Macron, said last night. There is no consensus today to send ground troops in an official, endorsed and sanctioned manner. But in dynamic terms, nothing should be ruled out. We will do whatever it takes to ensure that Russia cannot win this war. And reacting to this uh, today, the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, as you mentioned before, was extremely clear uh, in his rebuttal. He said there'll be no ground troops, no soldiers on Ukrainian soil sent by European or NATO countries. NATO, of course, uh, the military alliance. And indeed, the NATO chief has also said that there are uh, no plans to send troops uh, to Ukraine. And we actually just got something in through our uh, Reuters newswire saying Spain does not agree with this a French, as they term it, proposal to send European ground troops to Ukraine. So uh, quite a lot of negative reaction uh, to what Fred, uh, Emmanuel Macron didn't exactly propose, but didn't rule out in his comments last night. Interesting. And Jess, uh, more widely, troops is one issue, but uh, supplies, aid, uh, the other. Where are we on that? Yeah, I mean, this is a continuing issue, isn't it, particularly around ammunition and European leaders have kind of admitted uh, that they haven't met their targets in terms of trying to send uh, enough ammunition to Ukraine. We were actually recently at the groundbreaking ceremony for a new ammunition factory that's going to be built here in Germany. And the boss of one of Germany's, uh, well, Germany's biggest defence firm, Rheinmetall, told me that he thought it would take 10 years for Europe to be in a position where it actually could also defend itself, potentially without US help, um, should that uh, arise. Of course, there is concern in Europe about what a Donald Trump presidency or re-election could mean down the line. But, I mean, look, in terms of bringing that back as well to what Emmanuel Macron was saying, I think people have been trying to read his comments and work out what he was trying to do. Some people think it was Emmanuel Macron doing what Emmanuel Macron does, which is say things that are a bit unexpected, unconventional. He's known for kind of spinning out these uh, big ideas that can raise uh, some eyebrows. One diplomat I was speaking to earlier was saying they thought it was actually almost an attempt by France to talk tough because they haven't been sending nearly as much military aid compared to countries like Germany. Germany's only behind uh, the US in terms of uh, backing Ukraine, in terms of military uh, support. Uh, so they thought that to some extent it might be Emmanuel Macron grandstanding. Uh, but also some maybe think it's him trying to wake up the West because of the urgency of the situation in Ukraine and the support that Ukraine does need in terms of weapons.